Hello, I'm Scott Brady with Overland Journal and Expedition Portal, and we are out here with a very unique vehicle, the American Expedition Vehicles Brute. Now, my story with the Brute goes way back. In fact, this particular vehicle I first spent time with in 2010 at the very first Overland Expo in Amato, Tucson, where we took it uh, when it was still a four-cylinder gas motor and we put a four-wheel camper shell model camper in the back of it and at the time it was a very simple brute overall again original four-cylinder five-speed manual but then with time they actually decided to do a whole bunch more modifications to the jeep so this is actually the only brute in the world that has been built exclusively by aev and features a diesel motor so this has the cummins 3.3 liter turbo diesel. So this is actually a really unique motor. Most people tend to go with the 2.8 liter Cummins, uh, the motor that they have available for swaps. It works in a bunch of different vehicles, but this is actually before that when AEV was considering doing diesel swaps in Jeeps and they use the 3.3 liter Cummins turbo diesel. Now in this configuration, it's actually water cooled and you can see the water cooled intercooler here. Uh, small turbo, uh, it's not variable vein. Uh, there are some electronic controls of the engine, uh, so you can see some of the sensors that are available there. Uh, but overall, it's a much simpler engine than most of the ones that you see available today. And as a result, it's designed to last for about a million miles. What I noticed with this motor is because this Brute weighs just about 5,000 pounds, um, it actually gets around really easy. So it seems like those numbers are fairly low, but when you've got it in a lightweight Jeep, uh, it's more than enough power. Let's go through the specs on this AEV Brute. So up front, we've got a Warren M8000 winch in an original uh, genuine Jeep front bumper. After that, we've got a motor swap. It originally had a four-cylinder gas motor, and now it's got a four-cylinder Cummins 3.3 liter turbo diesel. This engine makes just over 100 horsepower and just over 300 foot-pounds of torque. It is just right for this lightweight Jeep. That's connected to a five-speed New Venture transmission and then the original chain-driven transfer case. The rear axle was upgraded from a Dana 35 to a Dana 44 uh, with some heavy duty internals. Uh, and then the front Dana 30 was actually re retained. Uh, the rear does have an air locker in it, but the front is open because that's asking a lot for a Dana 30 with 300 foot pounds of torque. Now, of course, if you drive it right and you're careful with it, those axles will actually hold up quite well. And this has got some upgraded components within it. For the suspension, it's a combination of Old Man Emu and AEV nth degree components that give it about three inches of lift. Now normally three inches of lift wouldn't be enough to fit a 37 inch tall tire, but it is when you use the AEV Highline kit. So you'll notice that the fenders in the front sit much higher and then the, the hood sits much lower. And that gives you just over two inches of additional clearance for the tire. So it's like the equivalent of a five inch lift overall keeps the center of gravity low and I actually think it looks great. On the bed, they match that same profile for the Highline kit. So 37 inch BF Goodrich mud terrains fit without any trouble at all. Now, in order to make it a Brute from a Wrangler, they have to add two feet to the wheelbase and they do that with a frame cut and extension. Uh, and then in the rear, they actually have another extension component that lengthens the bed, because uh, you can see that that is a full six foot length bed on the back. So what are our overall impressions of the American Expedition Vehicles Brute? We've been driving this thing for over a year and I have fallen in love with it. And every time I drive it, I can't help but smile because it is just so genuine, not only in its purpose, but also in its design. Overall, I really like the Brute. I really like the whole concept of that. And of course, you can't get the frame extensions or the body panels anymore. Uh, they're just no longer available. But it is a very cool Jeep. So those are the specifications on this individual Jeep, and it is just a blast to drive. And it's one of those things where, uh, you know, when you love a vehicle, you know, you get out of it and you go into the restaurant or whatever, and you just can't help but turn around and look at it.